Hello, I'm Phil Jupiter. So you might know me from pretty much every show on Dave, and I'm here at the Whitechapel Gallery. Why, Jupes, are you at the Whitechapel Gallery? I hear you shouting at whatever appliance you're watching this film on. Well, I'm here today to look at the work of one of my favourite artists. I'm, I'm with, yeah. A few years ago I found myself walking into the Scottish Gallery of Modern Art in Edinburgh and in there they have Eduardo Palazzi's studio, he left it to them and it's an extraordinary room and when you go into it it's like walking into the mind of the man and here at the Whitechapel Gallery what you see is the work that he made in that room is all around us. Ceramics, metal, textiles, screen prints, sculpture, fashion collage, plaster, concrete, wood. I think what draws me to Palazzi as an artist is that there's a kind of focus to the chaos. And when you're a performer, your brain is in a similar sort of state. You have to bring all these different threads together and express them in a kind of cohesive whole at the end of it. And so I suppose that's what I like about his work. It, there's, there's a madness there, but at the end, there's intent and meaning, and I've, I'm just drawn to it. Well, armed with my handy Eduardo Palazzi map, I think I'm going to make my way to some of his street art that's in London. What have we got here? Oh, this looks like a good one. High Street Kensington Station, Head of Invention, 1989. Bronze, 2.5 metres high. Sounds right up my street. So this collage is called Mr Gromico, and Palazzi did this in 1950. And look at the way that he has split up the head there sort of along that central line and then the horizontal lines as well. Now this is something that he carried on doing in his work, be it full sculptures of people or portraits. And over here, this piece is his portrait of James Watt, who invented the steam engine. And so again, there you've got more fascinations of Palazzi's, the industrial in the form of Watt that developed the steam engine, but that way of breaking up the body. And you can see here, there's these these words, bisecting and fragmenting the whole. I mean, I don't know what he meant by this, but it's visually so powerful. Yes, that's right, I'm in a London taxi now. Having left the Design Museum, we're on our way to the British Library to see another piece of classic Palazzi. And yeah, we're in a cab. We've got budget. Oh my word, another public Palazzi. This one, this is uh, Isaac Newton after Blake. So this is Palazzi's sculpture of Isaac Newton, but based on a drawing of Isaac Newton by William Blake. This is the first time I've ever seen the finished version of it, and rather lovely it is too. And now, in the words of The Clash, we are going underground. The jam. Oh, God. Here we are on the eastbound Central Line platform at Tottenham Court Road and this is, to my mind, one of Palazzi's greatest public works of art and this is the mosaic that he made. And I've never really seen this before and just walking down the platform now, I realise why. This is the eastbound platform of Tottenham Court Road. So whenever I was on the eastbound platform, I was going home. So I was drunk. Sorry. But we got it now. We got the moth, we got the saxophones, the colour. I mean, I've been coming past this for years, and this is the first time I've actually looked at it. It's just extraordinary. And so there we are, from the work itself to the plans, as they were first made on the drawing board by Palazzi, 
1982. Funny to think, isn't it? That, that, that we've just seen that people have been travelling past, millions of people for years and years and years, started here. Well, it didn't start here, it started in his head. So, if you'd like to journey into Eduardo Palazzi's head, it's very easy. He left bits of it lying everywhere. <laughs>